Hey, it's Matt at Fastmetrics, bringing you an overview of the Bria 4 Sawphone, brought to you by Counterpath. Counterpath.com is the website you want to go to to pick up a license for this piece of software. So this is going to be an overview of their dense user interface here. Up at the top is the toolbar with our various options underneath it. The next button we're going to see here is the voice messages button with its badge that currently indicates that this account has six voicemails. When we click on that, it will go into the voicemail system. Please enter your password followed by the pound key. Directly to the right of that button, we have our missed calls uh, icon, and it shows that I have two missed calls in the badge. And when we click on that, it's going to head over to our recent calls list and then filter it by missed. And once you do that, it will wipe that badge clean. Heading back over to the dialer interface, we can switch between different audio devices on your computer um, depending on what you have set up as speakerphone or headset. If the volume of the call is too loud or too soft, you can edit it here. And we have some extra options over here. To make a call on this interface, we're just going to select the box right here. Go ahead and dial a number. So we'll call Fastmetrics. And that's all there is to Hello. it. This box will also autofill anything in your directory, which we'll get to in a second. So I know there's a user named John, and that's pulling from my directory. So if I call John, there we go. So speaking of the directory, the contacts tab is the next icon that we have here. Here we can add all sorts of contacts. Um, people within your organization, we can add and get presence. So we see that these three people, including myself, are not on the phone at the moment. And we can add different contacts here as well. I've added the Counterpath Corporation's number. And all of these will autofill when we're trying to dial. So if we come back over here and type in Counterpath, it will automatically fill in. And if your contact list grows a really long, you can also filter it here. So if you wanted to just see mine, Matt, it'll go ahead and filter it. It's very easy to add contacts to this interface. You can go ahead and click on the Add New Contact button here and fill in the relevant information. So we'll just add a test one, test one, and five, 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 five. And now we have a new one there. And if we search back over here, it will come up. Also on the Contacts tab next to the Add Contact button is a pop-out button. So if you wanted to have this up all the time and you didn't want to have to flip between these, you can hit this button and it will detach it from your Bria client. So this can be very helpful if you have a big list and you want to keep it active for you. To reattach it to the client, go ahead and click the Move Back to Main Window button in the upper right. The next thing you can do with contacts is add certain contacts to your favorites. So for instance, if I was calling Fastmetrics a lot and I wanted to have them in a shortened list on this next tab here, I can right click on that and click Add to Favorites. And that automatically switched me over to the Favorites tab. So all that did was take this, whichever ones I mark as favorites here. So if I want John to add to favorites, it's going to move them all over to this star button or the star tab. And we'll have the same option here. It popped it out off the screen, but here it is. And to reattach it, you can do the same thing. The next tab we have down here is the recent calls list. This is going to show you all of your calls. Right now it's filtered on miss because we clicked the button before. If we go to all, we can see every call that was made here. Uh, outgoing, missed, and an incoming call will look something like this. So we end the call. Here's an incoming call. You can filter this. So if you want to see all the calls to or from John or missed from John, we can go ahead and filter that. You can also select from the drop down whichever calls you want to see. And if you right click on these, you can get various options. Um, at a profile, you can update their contact information, or you can call them, and double clicking will also call them. The final tab that we have over here is the directory tab. This is configurable if you have an LDAP server. 
So if you already have an existing LDAP server, you can enter in its information with a login and it will go ahead and pull that LDAP server every X seconds. I think it, the default is 60 seconds and it will pull down that information. So if you have that, um, it is configurable in Bria 4. And that is the overview of the Bria 4 soft phone.